What God cannot do does not exist. God is faithful. My name is Esther from Portacot. I want to bless God for his healing upon me. On 4th of October, as I was stepping out of my house to go to work, because I used to listen to what God cannot do does not exist every morning with my earpiece as I go out, as I go to work. So that day, I had Pastor Jerry mention my case of somebody that his high ear is bringing out pulse and blood. There's somebody I see in the spirit. Pause and blood ah. is coming out of your ear. What Karabashani? Karabalabakaza. What blood ah. and pause ah. is coming out of your ear. Ah. If you will not ah. keep back your testimony, ah. if you will not keep back your testimony, ah. right now I command whatever it is. I command whatever it is. Let it die by fire. Immediately I heard that, I key in into that prophecy, I typed immediately that I am the one that pause and blood is coming out from her ear. This my ear, left ear, has been bringing out pause for over four months now. I've been visiting EAT and all that, taking drugs and medication. When they did tests, they said there is bacteria in, in the ear and all that. And the thing has been disturbing me, biting me. Whenever the thing bites me, I want to clean it. And I've been taking ear drops since then and all that, taking ear drop yet it was still bringing out pause if i clean it i'll see blood and all that so as he mentioned that my case i typed it that day that day that day as i went out before all afternoon as i checked my ear like this it was as if everywhere was dry i did it again because it used to smell i did like this try to see if i can perceive anything i did not perceive anything i was like ah god you are faithful i just waited i stopped putting the eardrop because this one was about finishing and i went and bought new one see the new one i bought from that day i have not used it i have not opened it i have not used it immediately i got that prophecy I said, let me wait and see my ENT doctor. As I went to see him, I now asked me again, is there anything in the ear? He said, no. He said, God, you are wonderful. Since that day, that pause does not come out again. The ear got dry. It does not smell again because it used to smell very badly like that. It does not smell. It, does not, it doesn't smell again. I was so happy. I said, God, you are mighty God. That day, that day, I received that healing. And I want to bless God for that. Of a truth, what God cannot do does not exist. Hello, my name is Aumi. I'm giving this testimony from um, Abuja, Nigeria, on behalf of my father. The prostrate he had 14 years ago grew back. All of a sudden, sometime October this year, he noticed urine in his blood and it became so severe. So we had to rush my dad to the hospital. So getting to the hospital, the doctor took him in for a series of tests. And when the test result came out, it wasn't good. The test result said he had his kidney was not functioning right. He had two more in his bladder and the prostate grew back and the prostate is there. We're not happy and all that. And um, the doctor had to insert a catheter through him to enable him urinate properly. And um, after the doctor, the test result came out, he told us that after one month, he would like to repeat the test again to be sure of the problem and where the problem, what the problem is, you know, and all that. So I and my siblings, we lifted, and my mom, we lifted my father up in prayers. We kept on praying. And sometime in October, so I printed out his picture and I listed out the problems he had. And um, each time Pastor Jerry prays, he would mention, anytime he mentions kidney problem, blood in the urine, prostrate, I will keep it in for my father. I will keep praying for him and all that. And after one month, the test result was repeated, the, the test was repeated again. And to the glory of God, his kidney became normal, walking way above normal, walking perfectly well. There was no more tumor in his um, um, bladder and um, the blood in his urine stopped. But after that, the doctor told us that they needed to take the prostate for biopsy. You know, I know that that was another part where all scared we were praying because the prostate he had 14 years ago was not cancerous. It was successfully removed 14 years ago, but it grew back again. You know, so we're so concerned. Now the doctor has said he wants to take it for biopsy. We started to pray that Father, please let it not be cancerous and all that. So after a few weeks, the test result came out and the prostate is not cancerous. I just want to give God all the glory. I just want to say thank you, Jesus, for showing mercy unto my father and uh, restoring um, good health back unto him.
in may the name of the lord forever be glorified i just want to say thank you to all of you may the lord keep strengthening you guys and blessing every one of you all your heart desires the lord will fulfill in jesus name and i also want to say thank you to every one of you pastor jerry for making us pray the way we pray now praying for one like nothing to me anymore you know and all that i just want to say thank you hallelujah to you jesus thank you jesus what god cannot do does not exist my name is charles chidozi ibe and i live in denver colorado i'm in nursing school and we have clinicals so usually our clinicals start 7 a.m to 7 p.m and on the 30th of november my instructor changed the time that we're supposed to report early by 5 30 in the morning she sent us an email but for some reason it just kept my mind so i was going to clinicals as usual i left my house early driving for 6 45. then on my way to my clinicals i got a text message from my instructor saying i am over 30 minutes late that i should not bother coming in so i called her and asked her and said ma'am oh i'm so sorry i got your message you said that she said yes I am Charles, I sent an email that you guys were supposed to come today at 5.30. So I kind of, I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, ma'am. I apologize. I'm on my way. I'm 15 minutes away from the hospital. She immediately hung up the call. She didn't even want to talk to me. She said, contact your school. So I contacted my school. I called them and I told them what happened. I sent an email. They were like, oh, well, your excuse is not legitimate. And therefore, we're going to fail you for clinicals. So I tried, I begged, I the appealed, I wrote i told them please it was a mistake they were like no and they failed me and in my school once you fail once you're out of the program you were out of the program out of the school and this thing happened three weeks for my semester to be over three weeks just three weeks for my semester to be over this thing happened i appealed five days later after school they sent me a dismissal letter they sent me a dismissal letter and they sent me an email that i've been dismissed from the school hey god i started crying i didn't know what to do i was confused i called my sister that lives in Atlanta. i told her what happened my sister told me listen you have to join streams of joy i thought okay i will join so i joined on the 31st of december uh crossover service i joined the crossover service i prayed i cried i did everything then after the crossover service pastor prayed and said we are going to get our miracle immediately after our crossover service i went to work that evening i was at work and the holy spirit just ministered to me email the president of your school so i emailed the president of my school i told her what happened i just wrote the email put my evidence and i left then we had another prayer on the third our first morning prayer then after the prayer on the third in fact that thought was powerful after the prayer, then I got home around 8 p.m. The Holy Spirit told me, check your email. I opened my laptop, checked my email. I saw the president of my school's email. She said, Charles, I haven't gone through your appeal. I hereby reinstate you to the college and into your program. I wish you good luck in all your endeavors. Hey! I have been dismissed from school. That was how I got back to school. Now I'm back in school. Pastor, I just want to thank you for what you for what you're doing i also want to thank your crew your team members everybody it's in fact i just want to thank god for this beautiful testimony and i you know i will share i will spread the word that if you're not in nsvvd you are missing i'm i'm back to normal i go to class i just want to bless god because when they kicked me out of school my student loan loan was almost forty five thousand. dollars am i going to pay that and i don't have the degree but god answered me when i needed him god bless you all thank you once again bye indeed what god cannot do does not exist i want to thank god for what he has done in my life through the prayers of nsppd my name is Favo Rosselli. i'm making this video from podacot i've been believing god uh, for a change of story Concerning my health, I've been battling infertility for quite some time. So, because of that, we couldn't have a child. And um, so, um, last week, my wife sent me. Actually, my wife had been sending me the link, but I've been ignoring. But um, last week, I decided to join uh, before uh, the January first. So, I joined the prayer. I was praying every uh, throughout the, that period. 
I fasted as well, so I was praying. Um, so before then, I actually did a test. Um, I went for a lab test, and this is the lab test. This is the lab, lab test, if you can see it. This is the lab test. Um, so the lab test was so poor, was so, so bad. There was nothing left, nothing left. The, the morphology was totally out. The motility was totally out. Was, there was zero. It was totally dead. So I was shocked when I saw the result. I was like, wow, what is this? So I joined the prayer. So I was praying throughout that period, throughout that three days fasting. So then to 1st of January, I joined throughout from January up to on Friday when Papa said uh, we should pray uh, for our family. And uh, when we were praying, there was a word of knowledge that came that Papa said every infertility is reversed. So I key into that prayer. After that prayer, I decided to say I decided to do a second test, which I went to the lab. When I went to the lab, the result came today, which is Saturday. I was shocked when I saw the results. You can see, look at it. If you can see it, let me turn it. You can see the results. Um, this is the results. This is the results. Yet now, right here now, the morphology is now seventy percent morphology that was nothing before moved to seventy percent. The, the transformation now, the motility was, that was zero now is fifty percent. This is my evidence. You can see it. This is my evidence of from infertility to fertility because the morphology determines the morphology and the the, the mobility of the semen determines if. Uh, there is if there is fertility or not you can see it and the result is totally clean a drastic improvement in the result and I want to thank God for what he has done in my life I want to thank Pastor Jerry for all you have been doing in the life of people around the entire world God bless NSPPD the fire in NSPPD we will never run dry we never go down we are going to burn in the name of Jesus God bless you, Pastor Jerry. God bless you so much. The strength that you will need to continue to move ahead, to expand, God will release in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, Pastor Jerry. Indeed, what God cannot do does not exist. It was on 28 December when Papa was praying, 7, 7 a.m. We were fire he mentioned um cancer cases and i killed my sister in she is in port Harcourt. i type in her name she was diagnosed of uh, endometric um, cancer on february 2021 from that february it has been hell it has been hell so i was telling god that i cannot lose her because i don't know whether i will survive it on that 28 she has turned herself in for surgery to remove her womb and on that 28 i was really praying not under my watch a week before that day papa has said on friday before that 28, papa said that even if your own faith will not work for you, that his own faith will work for us. And I killed it in. That was when I said, Papa's faith and my own faith will work for my cousin in Port Harcourt. That this cancer, I don't know. People have been testifying, I've been watching. But it's my time to testify. I'm going to use that one to testify. So, as I was praying, I prayed, finished. I took the Holy Communion. I went out. Later in the night, she called me. I was driving, it was late, around after, after 10. I was going home. I did not speak her call. Not knowing that as she went to hospital, as we were praying she was in the hospital, they said, okay, they want to do the test for her to go in with. On that process, endometric cancer disappeared. Ah! The same hospital, the same scan, the same doctor for up to one year. There was no endometric cancer. There was no field in her womb. Whatever 96 cm of whatever, whatever, I wrote it down, was reduced to 0 0.06.
0.06 from 96 cm of our womb of our wall. She said, What are you saying? They said, Mother, see your womb now. See your womb. See your good stomach. There's nothing there. God has saved me, saved my sister. Because for saving her, he saved me. I want to thank God. I want to thank God of the streams of joy. I want to thank the NSPPD. I want to thank Pastor Jerry Eze for making it a point of contact. Every morning, you don't get tired. You don't get weary. You come out to him in those people. You don't know what you are doing. But God Almighty, your eye will not run dry. This miracle will not cease. It will not stop in Jesus' name. I want to say all glory to God Almighty.